This is David, WA9ONY. We have a Raspberry Pi 4. We're going to install a new radio. We go up to the Preferences, Add, Remove Software. I'm going to type in GNURADIO. Enter. It's going to search the repository for the Raspberry Pi. GNU Radio is a set of tools used for digital signal processing and software-defined radio. Okay, here we go. GNU Radio Software Toolkit uh, 3.713. It's common in the repositories to be one or two versions um, behind in the website. The other key thing is that GNU Radio for the Raspberry Pi has got to operate with 32-bit. If you go to the GNU uh, website, you'll find that it's focused on 64-bit, as many other programs. So we're going to select this. Um, before we do that, we can browse down here. There's a short description of what GNU Radio is. Uh, fundamentally, it's a set of C++ routines that are surrounded by Python and then there's a graphical user interface. We can go up to here, visit the website. There's this new radio website. Scroll down now yeah, see here are the the current release is 3.8.0.0. So we're a slightly behind, and that's to be expected. We'll go ahead and close this. We can also see the required packages. Oh, quite a bit, 323 packages. And the uh, install, the package manager, will take care of this for us so we don't have to select things. We can also say what dependencies there are. That means other programs are required. And here we can see a list of other types of programs that require GNU Radio. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop that. And it's selected. And we're going to go ahead and hit Apply down here. And we're going to start the install progress, and that's going to ask me for my password. Okay, password's in. It is going through the process of uh, downloading. The new radio download size is 7.5 megabytes, as it's shown in here. So one of the things in GNU Radio is that it will have software that's based on the SDR underscore, excuse me, RTL underscore SDR, which is what we've used in the command line interface. That command line interface then is going to show up as a graphical block in GNU Radio. And the output of that graphical block will be IQ data. That IQ data we will be able to utilize and do a variety of different uh, software-defined radio experiments and digital signal processing. Nice thing about GNU Radio is that you don't need to know anything about the C++ or the Python. Later on, it, it may interest you to delve into that, but the GNU Radio Companion is a graphical user interface that automatically generates the Python code to call the C++ routines. And what we'll be doing is using the graphical interface, grabbing blocks, setting the parameters of the blocks, for example, let's say the frequency, the uh, sample rate, the gain, and then the output of that block 
will then produce the IQ data that we've set up. Okay, GNU Radio has been installed. It's also installed some other software. Oh, here's all the neat libraries that's used in the default package. Okay, we're going to exit this. And now the first thing we're going to do is go and we're going to reboot. So we're going to reboot the computer. We're back from the reboot after installing a new radio companion. So it'll probably be under programming. Yes, here it is. Here's the new radio companion. We'll click it on for the first time. This is the Raspberry Pi 4 with uh, 4 gigabyte RAM. Hey, there we go. This is, we go ahead and stretch this out. So this starts with two blocks. The default block in the gra uh, default graphical interface is QT. There's also a, another user interface that you possibly would use in Windows, which is WX. We can also use that. The key thing in uh, digital signal processing is sampling rate. And that block is provided for us and set at 32K. So we will now go to our next video and we'll build a block diagram here using our SDR. Let's just kind of go down here and see what we've got. We've got uh, each one of these basically as a set of block diagrams. So we can go here and see so here's two graphical user interfaces, QT and WX. Since we're already set for QT, we don't want to use the other ones. And let's move that over a bit. So these are a set of different types of controls that we can drop here on the user interface. Measurement tools. Let's go up to measurement tools and see what's in there. We can probe signals. Okay. Okay. 
all the instruments. Let's take a look at what type of QT instruments we've got. Oh, this is going to be exciting. This is where we'll use an initial to uh, basically grab instruments. So here's a frequency instrument, number sync. waterfall. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap this install up. I've convinced myself that uh, we've installed this. Uh, we can just kind of go up here and hit the about to see what we got. And it's going to do 3.7.13.4. We'll go ahead and close that. We discovered installing a new radio on the Raspberry Pi 4 that it did not automatically install the RTL software. So we're going to go back and add that to GNU radio. So again we are here and add remove. We'll search for GNU radio RADIO enter and as a searching, searching the packages. Here's what we've already installed, and that's the check marks. So we'll go down through here. We're starting. Oh, the FunCube dongle. Uh, that's used for satellites. Um, it was designed. You know, it's kind of cute going down here. Here's a set of drivers, and this is Open HP SDR. That's uh, a set of uh, drivers to standardize how SDRs are going to. Oh, here's the Lime SDR. Oh, here we go. GNU Radio Block with the um, OSMO SDR project, which includes the RTL software. So we're going to select that and we can visit the web page and see what it shows us. Launching the browser. Yeah, so here we are. This is a set of uh, drivers that talks about here we go, the RTL 2832. That's the um, devices that we are going to be using. And we can again scroll down through here and spend some time reading and taking a look at what uh, they have. So, um, Okay. So we'll go ahead and close that. We'll check. Um, in fact, here's the short description down here. The fun cube there. There. This is the key one right here. The RTL two eight three two U, based on uh, digital video uh, broadcast. T is terrestrial. That's what the DV B dash T means. These are a set of dongles that were used in uh, Europe. And oh, there's the RF space SDR IQ. Ah, oh, here's the um, Hack RF one by Great Scott. Here's the um, um, Universal Software. Um, and that's a universal software radio peripheral. That's what I think that stands for. Yeah, let's see. Okay. Let's see the required packages. Okay, there's a bunch of required packages. Again, we don't have to worry about that because this is all going to be taken care of in the install process. It's also interesting to see what dependencies Oh, so here's two uh, dependencies that require this package. Okay, let's start the install. 
we'll hit the apply we've already checked it to indicate that's what we want so here we go and of course it wants my password passwords now entered you notice it's fairly small 183 kilobytes versus the megabytes of data for the GNU package that we just downloaded so what this is going to do it's going to create some blocks and those blocks will be available in the GNU radio companion GNU Radio Companion. Companion allows us to use the graphical block to have data flow between different blocks and then when we compile that it generates Python code. That Python code then calls a set of C++ routines. So there's actually several different layers that are... Okay, let's see. We go down here. There it is. Uh, already installed. I'm going to say OK. And again, I find it's best to go ahead and do a reboot.